SUI is uh, a, a competitor uh, of Solana or a Solana based network that's supposed to be, um, you know, cutting edge. And I think Google is involved. And so, um, you know, every time I turn around, there's some new token out there that's like uh, taking the play, taking the world by storm. So we're going to talk a little bit more about SUI and how we buy it and how we store it. First of all, let's say where do we where do we buy the coin, right? So uh, basically, I will go to CoinGecko. I will uh, look under this is our coin, right? SUI. Uh, we'll go to markets. And uh, CoinGecko will tell you where you can buy this particular coin, what markets it's traded on. Now, I don't know anything about any of these except for Coinbase. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay. All right. So actually, you can get it in a lot of different places, right? You can get it on KuCoin or Binance. You probably get it on uh, Kraken. Yeah, okay. Binance US. Right. But uh, I saw a Coinbase, so I'm like, okay, fine. I can buy it on Coinbase, so I bought it on Coinbase, right? So now it's on Coinbase. So what are we going to do with it, right? I don't want to just leave it on Coinbase. What, what we want to do is store it in our own wallet. So uh, we'll go to Ledger Live. Um, and I think V uh, was asking about this. He's like, okay, uh, I bought this SUI coin. Uh, how do I store it in Ledger Live? So we'll hit Add Account. And then uh, we'll type in SUI and uh-uh, there's nothing there. I don't know what this is, but that's not the coin we're after, right? This is some Binance Smart Chain token. So it's not supported in Ledger Live. So uh, let's go back and do our detective work. Uh, we'll go back here to Overview. And I noticed that uh, they have uh, a link here for SUI Wallet, right? So if we click that you can see that there is a, uh, it looks like the official SUI wallet. Um, I don't know if you can get there through their website. Let's see. Okay, yeah, sometimes it's hard to find a wallet on the, the homepage of a, of a uh, crypto. Uh, but usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll just like uh, do Google Sue wallets, right? And then usually you'll find articles you know, with the best wallets on SUI, right? So this is where your little detective leads you, right? They've, so they got uh, Suite. So I hope I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing these right. Su Wallet, which is the one we stumbled up upon. Ethos Wallet, Surface Wallet, and Nightly. All right. So uh, let's say we're going to use this guy. Right, so um, I'm going to use the browser extension. I don't like to do these on my phone because your phone is not a very secure crypto device. Uh, just in the same sense that your computer is not really a very secure place to um, store the private key for your crypto. That's why we use hardware wallets because the private key is stored offline. So a hot wallet is like a computer wallet or a phone wallet. So I'm not a huge fan of phone-based wallets because they're basically hot wallets. Although there are some wallets that you can download for your phone that will allow you to connect through Bluetooth to a ledger device. Like a Solana wallet will let you do this. The, the Rabi wallet version, uh, the, the mobile version of Rabi will allow you to connect to a, a ledger device through Bluetooth. I don't know about Sue wallet, but I'm going to start with the browser extension right uh, I've already added it to Chrome before so uh, let's let's get rid of it I'm just gonna show you real quick uh, here it is All right, and you can see that uh, oh I have to put in the password here okay alright so there we go and you can see I put 20 bucks in there's a little test All right so but let's uh, let's back up a little let's start from scratch let's take this guy off um, okay. Remove from Chrome. Okay, there we go. Now, why would I have done that? Uh, well, I just want to show you how this goes from the beginning, right? And I'm not worried about the crypto because 
I didn't use a standalone browser extension. I connected my Ledger device. All right, so let's hit Add to Chrome. We'll go ahead and add the extension. And uh, let's set this guy up, right? Well, I could sign in with Google or Discord, it looks like, or whatever that is, Twitch. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go to More Options. So I could uh, create a brand new wallet with a passphrase. It'll give me the passphrase. I'll write it down or passphrase account, or uh, this should be a backup phrase or mnemonic phrase more precisely, but that's okay. I know what they're talking about. We can import an existing mnemonic phrase or a private key, which would be like a really long number that you can back up and store on your computer as like a file. And then if you have that file either on a flash drive or a secondary hard drive or wherever, you can in reinstall the wallet using that private key. We don't need to do that. Um, it's actually just a long number. You could actually write it down on a piece of paper and then type it back in. We want to set it up with a ledger. So uh, there's that option. Now I think I had mentioned earlier, maybe in the alternate stream that I had to delete, is that um, the reason why I prefer my ledger is because of its compatibility with a, uh, a myriad of third-party wallets. And a lot of people don't like third-party wallets, as I mentioned earlier. They're scared of them. They don't think they're safe or they, uh, they're too complicated. They just want to do everything in Ledger Live. But in our case here, SUI, we can't, right? We want to store this token in our wallet, but it, it's not compatible with Ledger Live. So we need a third-party wallet. But I want a third-party wallet that allows me to utilize my Ledger device. And so here we go, right? And Ledger seems to be the wallet with the most support across the third-party wallet ecosystem. It's just second to none, right? Uh, so let's get set up with Ledger. Now they say, okay, well, you need the SUI app on your device first. Oh, I kind of figured that. So I've got my stacks, right? Uh, let's go ahead and enter the PIN. And uh, let's get that SUI app. All right, it's going to ask me to allow access so, um, so it can manage my device. All right, and then we'll search for SUI. Uh, no, it's not there. All right, well, that sucks. But why would they tell me that there, there is a SUI app? And then uh, when I went to Ledger, uh, oh, the, the tutorial, there's a Ledger tutorial that tells you uh, to put the SUI app on your device, right? I realized that the problem is I'm using my stacks. And so uh, there are some apps, a lot of them actually, not a, a lot, I mean, uh, not, not to matter that much, but there are a, a, a decent amount of apps that are not available on the stacks, but are available on the Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Nano S Plus. So let's take a look here. I will go back to my ledger. Um, it wants me to allow that secure connection again. So I'm going to hit both buttons. Now let's look for it. Lo and behold, there it is, right? So keep in mind, there are certain apps that are available on the Ledger Nano X, but not on the Flex and the Stacks yet. That's because they need, it's a slightly different operating system and not every developer has been able to, has time to roll out the new updated Stacks compatible app, um, but the SUI app is available if you're using a Ledger Nano X and I would assume a Ledger Nano S Plus as well. So we're going to go ahead and install that on our device. Um, I think it may have already, oh no, I, I took it off my device, right? So there it goes. You can see there's a little progress there, right? It's installing the app on my device. Now, interestingly, uh, not only did I delete the uh, extension wallet. I also had earlier before the stream deleted the entire app off my device. And one would think that that would destroy the crypto uh, wallet that I had set up, but it does not. All right. So we have, uh, 
our Legend Nano X and we have our um, SUI app. Let's get into it. All right now, let's go back uh, here. Uh, we need to get out of the uh, Ledger Manager too. Ledger Manager tends to interfere. Uh, it it bumps you out of apps, right? So um, we're ready to roll here. So now we've got our Ledger device connected. We're in the SUI app. Let's hit continue. It comes up here, tells me it's paired. I'll hit connect. Um, boobity boobity boo. There it goes. Um, and uh, there's a bunch of addresses here. Um, they're just there by convention or because of math or whatever, but you really only need to use one. I mean, you could use a different ones if you wanted to. You just have to remember where they were. Uh, I just like to use the first one that comes up. Next, uh, I got to create a password. Uh, I got to say I agree and we'll hit create wallet and boom, there it is. Look, and that, that 20 bucks worth of SUI is still there. Isn't that amazing? Right? That's what we uh, wanted before. Uh, and then here is our um, address, right? And now we can go to Coinbase and let's go to our uh, SUI and uh, we're going to send it. I'm just going to send it all because I've already done one, right? And then uh, I'll paste in that, whoops, whoops. I'll paste in the address. And as you can see, it's confirmed. He, it remembers, hey, you did this five hours ago, right? So um, we're good on the address. That, that's a large amount to be sending without a first doing a small test, which I have done already, right? So please don't send huge amounts of crypto without doing a small test first. All right, we'll do that. Uh, I don't know what they're going to charge me. It's not going to take very long. Oh, 15 cents. I can live with that. Um, I need my two factor and off it goes. And I don't need the device connected to receive uh, the crypto, right? Uh, all the device did was help me create the wallet. I'll need the device if I um, need to send crypto back out of this wallet. So here we go. We managed to uh, buy some of the coin we were after, SUI. We managed to figure out a wallet that we wanted to store it in, right? The SUI wallet. And then uh, in addition to that, instead of creating just a local version or using their phone based version, which is less secure, we figured out a way to incorporate our ledger device so that the private key is stored safely and securely on our device. Anything happens to the uh, web browser, anything happens to the computer, uh, my crypto is safe and secure. If anything happens to my device, uh, I've got my seed phrase. I can restore my device using my 24 word seed phrase. And then that new device, I'll just install the SUI app and reconnect and everything will be back where it was before. A lot of people have asked me, well, how does your device remember? How does your device know where all that crypto is? It doesn't, right? It's math. Basically, once I restore a device with the what they call the master private key, the master private key is used in a mathematical transformation to generate the sub wallets, the Bitcoin wallet, the Ethereum wallet, the Solana wallet. And that master private key has a set algorithm for doing that so that it always generates the exact same address for each of your wallets. So your, uh, your private key is unique to you. It's randomly generated. You're the only one with that private key. And so each of those wallets that gets created by your device is unique to you, but also deterministic. So every time I wipe my device, do a restore, and then regenerate those wallets, it always regenerates the exact same one it did the time before. If you remember, not only did I delete the browser extension, I also deleted the app off my Ledger device, and you saw me reinstall it, right? I, when I connected my Ledger Nano X, it was there was no... SUI app or SUI, SUI, however you want to say it, right? 
So I reinstalled the app, reconnected the device, and boom, there's the crypto, right? Uh, this also helps me in my mind because almost, I don't think I have any, well, I do have maybe a few little wallets here and there that are uh, standalone, but almost every single crypto wallet I use is based on my ledger device. So if I forget, uh, it's probably most likely on my device, right? If I'm like, hey, I think I had that crypto, but I don't know where the wallet is. Well, I'll say, okay, I'll just go download their wallet and connect my device and boom, there's my crypto, right? Even if I forget, my device doesn't. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.